morning everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. It's December 1st and I thought I'd do a vlog um, taking you through my day with a particular focus on how to stay healthy and fit during the Christmas period. Hope you enjoy the video. So, um, what I've done so far today is basically get up, get ready. I've got me my Christmas jumper on, you know, love it. Um, and I popped down to the curl in the morning, bought some extra tea, which I thought was really nice. When I went inside, they were like playing Christmas music and it was lovely. And um, yeah, I haven't opened my advent calendars yet. I'm gonna do it in the afternoon. I worked out which is great and I've gotten ready and I'm gonna it's like nine o'clock or just before nine and I'm gonna head to the campus for the morning and then come back here in the afternoon disclaimer I am a Muslim I don't actually celebrate Christmas religiously um like in a religious way but I think that's what most people kind of do I love the festive period living in like London the lights and the vibes are just so so nice so I can't help but get really festive and I just like celebrating things so it's just something to celebrate isn't it guys I'm wearing look look at these cute slippers I got I'm gonna put them in my haul that I'm gonna do but they are just the most comfortable things and then I'm just wearing this Chris jumper I got like a few like a year ago I think last year um from Topshop and it just feels nice and cozy also these are my two advent calendars which are just kind of gorgeous this one's a coffee one, which is gonna be great. Like it has a different coffee every day. And I'm so excited. It has flavors like creme brulee. And this is just your classic advent calendar. So I'm excited to open these up eventually. Hello, we're walking, we're walking to campus. I, I put this leather jacket on and I really like it. I got it in Copenhagen when I went with my friends last year and I barely worn it. But I layered it with this um, kind of cardigan that I got from And Other Stories. And I really like the vibe. Sam's also coming to campus with me. These are nice. <laughs> um, and also, every morning, isn't it just so sunny? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, by, yeah, like by 11 o'clock, the sun has just gone down. You can't see it anymore. But right now, it's beautiful. Just want to let you know that it's still pretty. <laughs> Gonna go and get a coffee. Quite excited about it. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. I've been feeling really stressed. I don't really know why. Like, my mind can't settle. It's like I feel like I have a hundred and one things to do, but I don't. Actually, everything will be done in the time that I have. Oh, look at that sun. Love it. Beautiful. But yeah, you just need to chill. Mine needs to chill. I really miss yoga. That's another thing that, that we'll talk about later. Is like calming the mind. I think it helps the internal body system, doesn't it, Sam? Mind, body, yeah. Mind and body, exactly. Yeah, Sam's quite a fitness person, actually. <laughs> I've learned all my tips and tricks from him, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I think you have to calm the insides to see results yeah, on the outsides <laughs> yeah all 2p <laughs> hello everyone so i'm back from campus i had a good time um did some work and had lunch um and spent some time with my friends which is always lovely i'm back i have peppermint tea that I got on the way out of campus from Pratt and I wanted to sit down here and do the thing that I wanted to focus on um, for the vlog today which is talk to you about how I stay fit and healthy um, and maybe give you some tips and tricks tips and tricks I'm using that a lot today <laughs> for staying in shape over the festive season when I was thinking about how to do this I wanted to split it up into categories because I identified three things that I think um, if you target, like 
having a balance of targeting all three of those categories will ensure that you basically are in a good shape both mentally and physically. So the three categories are activity, nutrition and general well-being. We're going to begin with activity. How do I stay active? The first thing that I do is I follow a workout routine and the person who I follow is Pamela Reef. Now I know, I know that workout and like like physical exercise and everything can be so daunting, especially to people who have never done it before. So I want to ease you <laughs> into it. Um, the person I follow is Pamela Reef. She's an, you can go onto her Instagram. Um, I'll tag her name here. And every Sunday she posts workout schedules. So you'll have your beginner schedule. So it's planned out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday's rest day. Saturday is a go day and so is Friday. And then Sunday's another rest day. So you get two rest days and five active days. And each day targets a different area of your body. So you have upper body day, booty day, leg day, abs day, hip day, whatever it is. Um, and they're really nicely um, structured. They're all free and her YouTube videos are also free to watch. There's literally nothing holding you back. Um, there are beginner workout schedules and then there are advanced workout schedules. There are workout schedules for people who only want to do it for 30 minutes a day and then there are people, there are workout schedules for people who want to do it 45 minutes a day. So it's a great variation and that's how I kind of make myself stay fit. A tip that I have in that regard is every more, every night I'll go onto my YouTube and create a playlist of the next day's workout routine. So I'll look at the videos she's put on for Monday, for instance, and then on Sunday night, I'll go onto my YouTube, create the workout playlist so that in the morning I get up, get out of bed and I do my workout and then I have a shower. That's, that's what you've got to do guys. You've just got to get up and do it and just go on with it. <laughs> and the second way I stay active is I always without fail will get in my 10,000 steps. That's just something I will do, I have to do. Um, it's not an option and you know what? It's great for your mental health. It's great to just get out and get some fresh air. And I just love a good walk, you know? I, you get really into it. It's like, like learning to eat chocolate. <laughs> then you wanna keep eating, okay, it's not like eating chocolate, but you know, it's a good situation. So walking and workout, that's, that's how I stay active. The next thing we're talking about is nutrition. Now this is the make or break. Like you can be in the gym every single day um, of the week, but if you're not eating right, you're not gonna see those gains or the loss of the weight really. You can't think, oh, I've done my workout today, so I'm gonna eat like a shit ton of food. That's not how it works. Now I'm a massive foodie. So in the past, I had a tendency to be like, oh, I want a brownie, I'm gonna eat a brownie. Like, and I wanted a brownie like two times a day, every single day of the week. Like that was just what I wanted. <laughs> and that's what my body was used to. And so I used to just feed it the brownie. And gradually, obviously you appreciate the brownie less because you're eating it all the time. So with nutrition, you've got to learn moderation, right? Because, and mindful eating. Moderation and mindful eating. So what moderation teaches you is you can eat everything. Don't, don't restrict yourself, you're all good but eat it in moderation. And I mean throughout your week, you know, not throughout your day. Like, <laughs> so if you want a brownie, have one, but during, like have one every week, don't have like five. If you want some chocolate, like have a little bit here and there. If you want a pastry, maybe have one a week instead of one every single morning. Moderation is key. And that teaches you to be mindful, which is the next thing. Um, I find that, I found that like when I started like to have a brownie whenever I really wanted one, I would put a bite in my mouth, close my eyes and really savour the taste instead of like golfing it down like there's no tomorrow, you know? Um, I think that's a good way to approach like a diet is just don't diet, but like look at what you're eating and think like, is this healthy? Like, is it healthy to eat this every day? Is it like good? for the way that I think about this particular food. Um, so that's the thing that I would bear in mind. So the second thing guys is you've got to make your meals as nutritionally dense as you can. So I'm somebody who loves wedges and fries and all this kind of stuff. Um, 
But what I what I did is I got an air fryer and I put the potatoes on a plate, sprayed olive oil on it instead of using like like actual just like like putting oil everywhere on the chips. You just spray it and putting my herbs and stuff on it and putting it in the air fryer. And then you're eating a vegetable that's just been lightly like toasted in the air fryer and they taste insane, like just gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and the other thing that I did was um, I learned to eat vegetables and I learned to like them. So over quarantine, I would add a little bit of a new vegetable to my plate every day. And I'm somebody who like, if it's there in a big like gulp, I'm not gonna eat it. Like it doesn't look appetizing to me. But if I chop it up finely, like I'm thinking of broccoli right now, if you chop broccoli up really finely, it almost looks like a herb. Like, you know, it's like there, but is, is, it, is it really there? Is it not? Green beans are another one. Like you've chopped them up finely. It just like kind of gets into the taste of the thing and it just offers a bit of crunch and it's delicious. Um, but I did that. So I kind of introduced vegetables slowly onto my plate and made small adjustments. So first came the air fryer and then second came the vegetables. And before I knew it, I was like eating really cleanly, um, I'd ha but I was still enjoying it. I basically just substituted what was extremely unhealthy to something that was quite like a great adjustment, basically. Like you still got the wedges and the fries, <laughs> but they just weren't deep fried and they tasted better for it, to be honest. Another great tip that I have is obviously don't use oil from a bottle spray use the use the olive oil spray another great tip that i have is if you are like me and love your mayo and love your coleslaw and love your sour cream and all that kind of stuff buy some zero percent fat yogurt because honestly you add a spoonful of whatever condiment you want with a spoonful of yogurt and mix it up it makes the condiment go so much further this works so well with sour cream and it just makes it so much healthier. So I would encourage you to kind of fashion your own condiments at home. Now with dessert, a speciality of mine, I love chocolate as you can probably tell by now, but what I do instead of having like a dairy milk <laughs> every night or whatever it is, um, or a brownie, I have gotten really into dark chocolate. Like I love it, I love dark chocolate. And I mean dark, like I like 90%. Now, I'm my mum is somebody who just won't adjust to dark chocolate, but I don't think she tries hard enough. But like, if you can't adjust, go for a 70% or a 60% milk chocolate or whatever it is. But also just have your chocolate with a bit of fruit so that you make a meal out of things. Because psychologically, if you're gonna sit down and eat something and really pay attention to what you're eating, you're gonna eat less of it and appreciate it more. And you're gonna eat less because you appreciate it more. Um, and you're gonna, your body's gonna register like when you're full because you gotta eat slowly. And then finally, another dessert that I friggin' love is Oppo ice cream. Oppo ice cream is just the most delicious thing in the world. I love that there's like a chocolate hazelnut flavor, vanilla praline, salted caramel, like toss a bit of that into the bowl together and you're just in for a treat. <laughs> and they're like 300 calories for a tub. I mean, I know it's not all about calories, but they're low in sugar, high in protein, and that's what matters. Overall, with nutrition and meals and stuff like that, you just wanna have a bit of protein on your plate, bit of fats, bit of carbs, and you just gotta have a mixture of all of those things, and you're in for a treat. Oh my God, guys, it looks so good. It's basically rice with loads of veg, prawns, and roasted chickpeas. Mm -hmm. yummy 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 it looks so yummy so yummy enjoy your food you live once like you gotta enjoy it but when i say enjoy it i don't mean eat whatever the hell you want i mean like sit down put a little bit on your plate and enjoy the food and if you want more go and have more but like listen to your body over the festive period just think about what you're putting into your tummy um, and enjoy it and then be like, okay, I think I'm full now. I think I've had a piece. I'm gonna chill now. I'm gonna have a bit of a relaxation. Tomorrow morning, maybe I'll add a little cardio to my to my workout routine. So those are my thoughts on nutrition. Um, next, I want to discuss well-being because, you know, guys, it's mind and body, body and mind. It's not just like, you, you can't think of the two as like mutually exclusive. 
what is going on up here affects what's going on out here. <laughs> you gotta sleep. Like sleep is so important for digestion. Well-being and digestion, in my eyes, they're just like completely connected and digestion is everything I feel like if I haven't, if my, if I don't feel good in my body, I just know that my food hasn't digested properly. That is pro probably because I haven't slept very much the night before, I didn't focus on going to bed early. Um, I would have eaten really late, I'd have eaten really quickly. I probably didn't stretch very much the night before or in the morning. I probably didn't drink enough water and I probably just didn't take care of myself very much. So tips I have in that regard, like little things you can do to keep yourself in shape is sleep, get enough sleep. It's so, so important. Um, second, drink so much water. Like what is stopping you? But really just getting your full of water is so much, so important for, for your body, for your internal digestive system. It just kind of, it basically like pushes everything together and processes everything that you don't need out of your system and keeps everything you do need inside your system. So I, I recommend sleeping and drinking loads and loads of water. The third thing I'm going to say is yoga. Like guys, I wasn't able to do yoga over the lockdown because my instructor, I obviously I couldn't go to my yoga classes and I missed it so much. Like my back is in a bad way. <laughs> it's in a bad way. My mind is in a bad way. Like yoga just, or just some kind of mindfulness really helps center your, it just centers everything. I know it's so much about the core, which again is just like the center of your body, but I feel like it also centers your mind's core and just connects everything and makes it unified and makes it one. And I really miss it. I can miss it so, so much. Um, and that's how I know it's so, so good for me. Um, so yeah, yoga is another thing that I would, I would suggest will keep you in shape because it will just keep your sanity in shape. If your sanity is in shape, you're not going to be like overly tired. You're going to be not so stressed. You're going to be able to sleep in the evening. And then, you know, if you're not tired during the day, you're probably not going to eat the like sugar and stuff that you would otherwise eat because you're so, so hungry. So everything, there's this, there's this whole interdynamic system that like works together to push your mood a certain way or a certain other way. Those are my thoughts on well-being. To summarize, activity, do your steps and do your workout. Get that organized and sorted in your life. For nutrition, the summary is find healthy alternatives, do everything in moderation, eat mindfully, and enjoy your food. For the well-being and aiding your digestive system, we're gonna sleep enough, enough sleep, good amount of sleep, drink lots and lots of water, don't eat at least four hours before you go to bed, and finally, do do a bit of yoga, do a bit of yoga. So that is my advice <laughs> for um, for keeping in shape uh, during the Christmas period. I hope that was like helpful for you all. Um, I also, I would have found it helpful to know if I was going into, if I just had a bit of trouble about like how, you know, I was putting on a lot of weight or whatever. Cause obviously at university in first year, I put on a lot of weight <laughs> and yeah, over quarantine, I kind of got my life together and got a routine sorted. And I just lost a stone. I shed all of the fat basically that I had. Like I lost a stone and a half over that period of time. Like slowly, it was from sort of, it was over a year and a half, I'd say, that I lost that amount of weight. But now I've maintained this weight. And honestly, I eat everything that I want and I do everything that I want. Um, obviously in moderation, like, I would love to eat an entire packet of boxes biscuits, but I only have one. But I think that that's kind of better because like I don't need the whole one. Anyway, I hope I hope you enjoyed that. Um, onwards with the vlog. <laughs> Guys, it's five thirty and it's time. It's time to open the advent calendar. Who can find it first? Mm. <laughs> oh, I found it. It's right here. Okay. There are loads of different ones, like Bubbly Santa, assortment of solid hollow and soft chocolate. Wonder which one it will be. Oh yay, it looks like a truffle one. What does it look like? Ooh. How does one... 
Oh! <laughs> I got it. Oh, it's kind of really small. It's a bit small. It's a bit small. But we open it. And we use it. <laughs> now we, we just open it and don't use it. Um, so I think it's like 5.30, I was like filming a haul and editing it, it's going to be live, so please watch it. <laughs> and now I'm going to go for a walk with my friends because Christmas lights. And also I have nothing else really that I, I don't want to do any work. Cheers. Mmm. Hello everyone, so it's much later. I haven't gone for my walk yet, but I thought I'd prep dinner first. And I wanted to show you like the things I talked about earlier, but like in fact. Here is the air fryer and it's so awesome. Look at those, look at those chips. And I basically um just put like cut up potatoes and then sprayed some olive oil on them and put some rosemary and salt on it and it's looking very nice. Very yummy. And that's all you do, and you just plonk them in there. You put them in there <laughs> and you twist the timer, put the machine thing on, it's like a mini oven. oven. And then this is my veg, which is going pretty nicely. It's just peppers, onions and green beans. And then I've marinated some yummy yummy chicken to have on the side. And yeah, I'm really excited about my dinner, but I'm gonna go for a walk now whilst everything is cooking up. Don't worry, there's like a timer and everything, so it has to switch off. So I wanted to show you. Yeah. Also, this is the olive oil spray that I use, and it's really, really, really great. And these are all of my spices. You can get like a much nicer olive oil spray thing from m and but student life, you know, student life. Guys, Christmas lights, Christmas tree, Christmas grotto, how exciting. Basically, there's a crockery and a cheery station. I will be indulging. I will be indulging, just not today, <laughs> but soon, soon. Guys, this is my plate, and I have my potatoes here, which I'm not going to eat all of. A hummus parmesan, and I've got like some sour cream and yogurt and condiments, and I'm really excited. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if you made it this far, like that's really, really lovely. I hope you've had a lovely beginning to December. If you're new here, please do subscribe, and if you have anything to say, please write it in the comments. Love you lots. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas.